Hey, trucked up guys and gals. If you're in any part of North America with me this week, holy smokes, it's a scorcher out there, isn't it? Well, we're averaging around 95 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 36 to 38 degrees Celsius. And I thought I'd mention something about my electric truck that might be of interest to you. So here's the thing. We always hear about range loss and range anxiety. Well, I've never had range anxiety the whole time that I've owned this truck, which is almost a year now, but I get it. But here's the thing. It can go both ways because right now, have you ever heard of a truck gaining range? This one is. So the EPA estimated range on the F-150 standard range XLT, which is what I have, that's a mouthful, is 386 kilometers or around 230 to 240 miles. Well, right now my truck's getting somewhere between 420 and 430 kilometers or 275 to 280 miles of range off a single charge. So that's adding 50 miles to the range. That's fantastic. So what's going on there? Why such an increase in range? Why am I getting better range than what the EPA estimate is? Well, conditions outside. If you got optimal temperatures outside, the battery can actually do better. The range can actually be higher than what the EPA estimates. But also it has to do with your driving environment. I live in a rural part of Canada, so I have a lot of twists and turns in the road. There's a lot of regen going on. I'm really benefiting from the way an EV operates. Also, if you live in a city, you're doing lots of stop and go, man, you are definitely gonna do better on average than the EPA estimate in my view because of that driving environment. But if you're driving on a highway, and remember, United States highways are much faster on average than Canadian ones. So you're doing 75, 80 miles per hour on a regular basis, no stop and go. Well, that's not the most efficient way to run an EV truck. So that's going to have an impact. But if you're doing any of those other things, you're going to find that you're actually doing better than the average EV range estimate and if you've got questions about stuff like this and you want answers well come on out to my trucked up stops i'm going to be making stops right across british columbia if you're here in canada come on out ask me anything about ev trucks evs in general hybrids plug-in hybrids series hybrids if you've got questions maybe we can find some answers would love to hear from you come on out and let's get trucked up all of the dates uh, on my trucked up stop tour are in the description below. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.